So this is what this, this chart I call the dark ages of computing. So the blue is Windows. So from 1987 till uh, recently, Windows dominated. And I, so as I was putting this together yesterday, I'm like, man, this looks like the dark ages. It looked like we fell off the map. Innovation stopped. It was dominated by just Microsoft. And it, in, the snarky part of me says innovation at Microsoft during that period is probably an oxymoron. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't a good time. You had this little bit of Macintosh, but Macintosh wasn't a very good time either. We were going to get bought for the amount of cash we had, right? This sucked. It sucked, sucked, sucked. But now it doesn't. So this is 2011, and it's getting better. So now you've got, I read something the other day that for the first time in probably 20 years, more than 50% of emails were read not with Outlook. And it's because it's on your phone. It's because it's in your tablets and phone and on your TVs. This is going to change everything. For the first time, we've got this incredibly like, high energy explosion. I think th things are in chaos. So the question to you guys is there's white space. So we don't know yet whether we'll go into this dark ages where one of these dominates for another 20 years. I hope not, and I kind of don't think so, because I think that the amount of, the amount of our lives we are mediating through mobile, through com computing generally, is getting higher and higher and higher. But I, so my view is we're exiting the dark ages. Everything's in chaos. Everything is a promise. There are going to be a bunch of funny starts. There's going to be a bunch of things that they grow and get big and disappear off the face of the earth, just like the sort of Cambrian explosion, right? Pre-Cambrian explosion. Or like the Renaissance. We'll have lots and lots and lots of ideas. And this is the time we're living in now. So the question for you guys is, what will you put there? And I think this is, like, this is the essence of entrepreneurship, which is like, well, I see that map. I see how it sucked before, but I'm going to draw it my way now. And so I, that's, I'll tell you, that's the most exciting chart in the whole time that I've been uh, in and around computing.